my dear Gemini, welcome to Lucy the Antigua Tarot. My name is Lucy and I'm here to do your reading for the month of June 2016. Let's look at your cards. This is a nine spread, um, a nine card spread. At your center, you have judgment, el juicio. You have four major arcanas in your reading this month. You have the magician, you have judgment, the wheel of fortune, and you have the chariot. You have two cup cards. You have the four of cups and the seven of cups, and they're both hand in hand with your center. You also have crowning your center, the king of cups, el rey de copas. And then uh, you have two sword cards. You have the Knight of Swords, which is the energy coming in. And then you have the Three of Swords. Okay, so that is your reading for this month. I would like to start with your um, center card, which is you, the Judgment. So basically, don't make any hasty decisions because... Of course, obviously, whatever decisions you make are going to affect your outcome, and you want to make sure that the outcome is what you want or what is best for you and probably the people around you. So maybe you're considering making some changes, and it's just basically telling you to, to, to be careful to not judge so quickly and not to act quickly and to kind of like um, step back and observe or look at what's in front of you. Observe carefully of what's going on around you, okay? Very important card and it's probably important for you this month of June. Now this is a general reading, but that is what the card this card is saying to to us this month now the energy coming in this is a really awesome energy this is a very quick-witted energy very focused this is the knight of of swords espada the knight of swords espadas and um, he's coming in quickly and, and let's see this night charges ahead okay he um he he is expressing himself better than any of the knights in the tarot he's he's got the sword he's got the dominion of communication and is able to express himself very well This type of uh, quick behavior uh, must be reserved, though, for those times when they are really needed and don't allow this behavior to become a habit. And it is in complete relation to your judgment. These two cards are totally connected. Yes, this fast energy, quick thinking, sharp energy is really a good energy to have, but don't make it a habit, okay? And sometimes it is good to use it, and maybe right now it's good for you to use it, but it's telling you to just be careful, um, not to move too quickly, don't jump to conclusions, don't make hasty decisions. All right. It's possible that you have been waiting for something and um, you have been thinking and spending a lot of time thinking about it and, and trying to find out, investigate it, because it's a very determined energy that's coming in that's decided that he's going to or she's going to do this task. You are going to Solve the problems that you need to solve to get to where you want to go. Okay? And it 
it's interesting because it's also connected to your chariot. All of these cards, both of these cards, are denoting movement forward, ahead, move forward. And the energy that's coming in and the energy that's leaving your reading. And they're both, um, these two cards are telling you not to jump to conclusions and not to make hasty decisions. Except that with the chariot, you have focus and you have that energy, just like the the Knight of Swords. What this card also is telling you is that you that if you do have something that's been in, on your mind for a while, um, to go ahead and uh, and and deal with it. Okay, so maybe there's something going on here, some kind of endeavor that you've been trying to take care of, and uh, these cards are coming out for you. You are, you are getting the support of people around you with this card. That's what this card is saying. And it's also telling you to take a break. If you have been spending a lot of work and time and energy in trying to solve a particular problem, and you've been working really hard and really focused and uh, communicating your needs in a really uh, direct and forward and positive way, um, it's telling you that maybe what you need to do is take a break. So these cards are totally connected, my dear Geminis, okay? Crowning your chair, your, chair, your uh, judgment, you have the King of Cups. And usually the court cards like the King of Cups, um, could be somebody that you know. This is the, the King of Cups. Cups means uh, feelings, being in touch with your feelings. So this is, this is one of the most loving cards in the Tarot. This energy is a very loving energy, and it's probably a man. This is a kind, honest, and gentle person. And it's possible that you have somebody in your life that is like this. And this person is uh, loves you very much. And they're very in tune to what's going on in your life. They're observing you. They're watching you. Okay. You know, it's interesting because here it also says that you're being observed. You're being judged. Uh, this, is, this card also means the same thing. Uh, but this is being judged in a more critical way. This person loves you and is watching you, but it's not really judging you. It wants to help you. Okay, and this is um, this might be the time to reach out and seek advice from somebody. Usually, this energy is somebody older and wiser, somebody who's been who's got a lot of experience and's been around the block. So you might want to reach out to this person to help you or for advice. But um, I am showing here that you have you're that you have the magician. And these are the cards that are crowning your reading. Very positive, my dear Geminis. Very positive energy coming in. And you have the magician, which means that um, you this difficult task that you've been trying to solve you have the ability to make that a possibility, to resolve that. What seems impossible can become possible for you. That's what this card is saying. And you've been thinking about this project, this, this, um, this endeavor that you've been thinking about and working towards. You've been thinking about that a lot. Okay. And this card is saying that you're definitely going to achieve it. Now, what that thing, that what that endeavor might be, my dear Gemini, it could be anything. It depends on everybody's doing different things in their lives. It could be anything. It could be a, a new job, a new relationship, or a change in some way or another that you want to make in your life, a move. Okay, and it is saying that you can move on to better things. 
Now, your center is the judgment. Don't be hasty. Don't make hasty decisions. Don't don't judge so quickly situations or people. Take a step back and observe what's in front of you. And then you have these cups on the side, which indicates that there's a lot of emotional turmoil perhaps going on. Not in such a negative way, but there is some emotional turmoil. You might not be feeling very satisfied in your situation right now. Though you have these cups, which cups are things that we've achieved, but it just seems like it's not enough for you. That it seems like you're you're wanting you're wanting to reach out for more. So you're not being very content. You're not very content here. Now maybe what this card is telling you is to step back and look at the reality. Maybe that's what you need to do here also. So you have these two cards. So why are you um not wanting to look at reality well because you're feeling that it's not enough and that's probably why you're trying to create these new and that we're trying to create these new changes you know that that are showing up right here with the knight of swords judgment and the chariot and then on the other side you have the seven of cups and this card, you know, it's telling you that you, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve with your endeavor, and you're trying to create something new, because you have the magician here, okay, right there's your magician, uh, it's great, but you have a lot of options, and what it's telling you to do is to narrow those options down you have a lot of choices and all that means is that you're going to have to have more decisions so narrow your options don't look at too many choices and options because the it, it's going to take you longer to to figure out what's the best thing to do so narrow your choices down so that you can make a better decision so take a take a good look at what's in front of you and several cards are already telling you this slow down and take the chariot right i mean judgment and take a look at what's in front of you because if you do that and obviously that takes time and if you do that and you narrow your choices you will probably be more precise the precision of the swords and it doesn't matter what the endeavor might be, okay? This is a general reading, but that is what's going on with this center of yours. Very cool, actually, very beautiful. All right, now, at the base of your, of your uh, reading, we're starting off with your other sword card. You have card, you have the Knight of Swords, and then here you have this, the Three of Swords. Okay, and the three does mean balance. And the thing about the the three of swords piercing this heart and the clouds and the rain in the background, yes, it is painful. There is suffering. But in life, to move forward and to learn the lessons we need to learn, we need to go through the pain sometimes. We can also learn through happiness but we also have to learn through pain it's it's part of being alive it's part of living and so you have experienced have been experiencing pain okay and even though you prefer not to be feeling this pain it's just reminding you that these these things that we go through in life are an opportunity for us to move forward in our life and that's what that card means and it's a beautiful card and it is crossing your reading you have the magician judgment and then you have the three of swords so you have another really awesome message being crossed over there 
okay which means also that these these things that you're trying to achieve here in this crossing here with this new endeavor whatever that may be new changes that you're trying to make in your life it's going to be difficult it's going to be painful but you will get to the other side because you have the chariot <laughs> leaving your reading you're going you know so you're heading in that direction and in between in the middle of these two which is um beneath your your um your center beneath your judgment card okay so you have the king of cups crowning your judgment card which is great because that's a really positive card you can find somebody who can guide you on how to go about making these changes right manipulating the things you need to move around to change and improve things for yourself or for someone um, because you could be trying to improve a situation for somebody also uh, there's a lot of major arcanas here but you do have the wheel of fortune so it's also just basically saying the same thing you know it's like you have a one two three four cards that are kind of talking about the same thing that if you're going to be doing something different taking a risk make sure that you look at all the details make sure you understand everything that's going on before you move forward and I have a feeling that Gemini's you guys probably are really aware uh, because the cards are showing that it's all but it's adding why you know there's certain things that you want to change you have these things but they're just not enough for you but it this card is saying that change does need to happen and that you just need to go for it which is it looks like you are because you're coming in with the, with the knight of swords which is like going for it you know so there you're taking the leap you have these movement cards here you're going to the other side that's right you're not resisting the change. I don't see you resisting. These cards aren't telling me that you're resisting. As a matter of fact, they're telling me different. You're really looking at your options. You know, you're, you're, you realize that this isn't what you want. You're looking at options and you're moving forward. So it, this is an awesome, awesome reading, my dear friends. So that is your reading for the month of June. So, my dear Geminis, oh my God, that's a lovely reading. It was a pleasure for me to bring this reading to you. I hope that it finds you all doing really well. And uh, thank you for visiting. And I wish all of you a wonderful month of June. And um, lots of peace and lots of love with friends and family. As always, going to the park having picnics under beautiful trees, and enjoying life. And um, I will see you guys in July. Take care now. Bye-bye.